if you want to learn how to trade forex from the professionals themselves then check the description where I have linked around about five or six very very cheap books that explain in full what to do with forex trading and they have been wrote by professionals so uh, they are a very viable source of information. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Trading 212 episode. Now before we get started I just wanted to apologise for not being uh, relatively consistent with the series for the past but it's been like two weeks how long has it been so it's currently the 10th how long how long how long was it since we uh the 30th it's been it's been 10 10 it's been 11 it's nearly been two weeks all right anyway moving on <laughs> moving on basically i have if i have screenshots i will share and explain them now so as you can see our margin went very very low uh because the bitcoin and silver trade was really bad but we made a thousand on oil which is nice and then once we cash out that trade, you can see we're left with 3,000 equity, and I'll talk about that now. But as you can tell from those screenshots, it kind of went a little bit sour. And when I mean a little bit sour, I mean it went to shit. So what happened? Basically, I, uh, I, I thought to myself, okay, Bitcoin dropped really, really low. Surely it's going to... Bitcoin at some point in its existence should follow some sort of trend and but uh it decided to go the complete opposite way it just just you know it rocketed back up to basically where it was in the first place back up to 1029 and now it's only at 979 um but yeah uh so it's very very annoying to see bitcoin do all that um but yeah that took literally all of our profit we have waited we have no profit we're down money at the moment all, all of the profit we made over however long we have like nearly five pages of profit dude but, but the thing is that annoys me it's constant profit this is all constant profit there hasn't been one loss okay this has been constant profit all the way up until this one hiccup one hiccup cost me this like basically this entire account you know it's absolutely insane to think about it and i did um I did kind of, well, it's not nice actually making it up, making it up. I did uh, buy Bitcoin for 949, uh, got rid of it in 977. It rose a little bit more. I could buy it again, but not really too fond of it. Um, that was only a small amount because that's all, all I could afford. And we cashed it out at uh, 670. So that was, a, that was a nice, a decent profit, but it's nothing that could combat this loss of 10K. We lost 10K in one trade. It's mad. So currently, I'm sat with a silver trade, which the silver trade just again was, went wrong. Also, um, I thought it would because it, it's been so level recently. Um, I thought it would have a. That's not the right graph. Uh, as you can see here, I thought it would uh, see this point here. It had it had it had a little upward trend, and at this spike here. Uh, it was around the spike here, or it was about here actually. I thought it was going to drop again back to the level it was. So you know, at the high fifteen level, or low sixteen, and it just shot shot back up to nearly eighteen now. It's nearly eighteen. It needs to, you know, I bought it at basically dead on seventeen for a sell. It's nearly on dead on eighteen, so it really needs to go back down for um, us to get some money back into this account. Um, yeah, very you know strange predicament we have right here um don't really know what to say i don't really know what to do either i've kind of been thinking what what i should do with this account and as you can see i did i started i did trade with it again you know um nothing really much i could do about the bitcoin trade in general um very very poor trading from me uh, i think um should have should have should have analyzed it a lot better um but yeah, if I if if I click buy instead of sell, we'd be at about twenty five k at the minute. So, but you know, it's just how things go. I'm not gonna not gonna beat myself up over it. It's quite annoying and poor judgment for me. But we carry on. Gonna carry on with this account because you know we have to work our way back to ten thousand. I want to make. I want to drive myself to get to turn this bad situation back around, uh, and that's why I decided to buy Bitcoin again and make sure it was all Gucci for uh how it was recently um do you think oh you always gonna continue to go back down uh it's a thing is i wouldn't i wouldn't trust it if it was at a high 
high 50 if it sorry if it, if it was at a low 53 because it's at a high 53 i'm actually gonna sell i'm, I'm just gonna sell literally as much as i can because i need to start doing some risky plays and not really care as much about my margins because we need to make this money back as fast as possible so we have a sell on the oil on the go now the silver trade basically we just we just really need it to go back to you know somewhat okay proportions for us to be able to get that money back into the bank that we can use that to trade with currently sat only half our margin which is really really bad but like i said this is just a game now of taking it slow and seeing if we can get back to our starting point um hopefully we can have success like we've had success with all these pages of trades um yeah i think we i think we were at around about eight or nine thousand before we hit that really big slump so eight or nine thousand profit before we hit that big slump and uh yeah, a bit annoying, but um, eight eight nine thousand profit uh, before we hit that big slump, but now we're at minus two k. But it's okay, not too fast about it. But yeah, this is good. I have made have made a trade. These two trades are going to see how they do. I will report back in a few days. Hopefully, we made at least profit on the oil. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, you know, it, it should really come back down to where it where it once was. Um, I wouldn't see why it wouldn't. Um, but yeah. Anyway, if you didn't enjoy me, should like comment down below what I should do. Uh. And what trades I should do and stuff like that. And comment down below if you had any experiences with any bad trades or anything like that. Because there's definitely a bad trade. And just, it's just it's just very frustrating. If we see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have... No, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 21, 20. We have 23, 24. <laughs> yeah. 23 out of 24 trades we've done a profit and we're somehow we're in a negative one trade out of 24 one trade uh gives us a negative and that negative is enough to bring us all the way into the negative for total so <laughs> i'm on about like 96 97 percent completion you know like profit rate and i'm not in profit like it's it's insane to think about it, but things like that happen but it's okay um yeah but no uh, if you can join me, should like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Make sure to have a nice day, stay safe, and peace.